this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. This is Season 2, Episode 4, and then this is Part 3 of that Let's Play, but what, like Part 17 or 18, I think, overall, in Season 2. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing <laughs> to keep track of where we are in Minecraft Story Mode, but we are underneath the bedrock, below the bedrock. We are in a weird town built by Fred, and we're actually inside of Fred's house, and we're trying to find a weapon, so let's see if we can find it. Oh, look at or jump on Fred's bed. Um, I might get told off for this because apparently it's like a really sacred place and I need to look after it and stuff, but that was fun. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a look at the, the books then, shall we? It could be one of the cases where there's like a hidden doorway if I lift one out. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Okay, a book. No, no weapon unless you're gonna try and give someone a paper cut or something. Let's go look in the, the back of the, the house then. I mean, it's a fine house. It's all right, but it's, you know, we had to win a whole big competition just to be able to be in here. It's not that special. Uh, let's look at the furnace. Empty. No one's used this thing for a long time. Well, I'm really glad it allowed me to, to look at that furnace. <laughs> well, I guess the only other thing is the, the closet. I mean, it's a bit obvious, but... For now, accept that button. What a perfectly incredible hiding place. No one would ever find it. It's All right. Oh, it's an elevator. Whoa, secret room. Please don't tell me that no one had found the secret room before. There's got to be something down here. I think I saw the carrot when I, uh, the... <laughs> I was going to say, I think I saw the weapon when I entered it. It was a carrot, but I messed up my bad joke. Probably for the best, because it was a bad joke. There's another book down here. This might be a, a more secret book, maybe? And there's a huge map at the back of the wall. Did you see that thing? I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. So just in case you can't remember the story, I want a bit of a recap. So there were three admin. There was Zara, who was Prisoner X, if you remember her. Hard to forget. Then there's the, the admin that was previously just called the admin, who is Romeo. He's the baddie, as it seems. And then there's Fred as well, who you don't know much about here. But we are starting to, to find out a little bit more. Uh, let's go check out these books over here, though, first, just to see if there's anything else that we can find out about this guy. It's the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. What was this, like, really goofy smile? <laughs> it's signed by the chief. And he was like, ah, just did a really big grin. <laughs> right. So we've got to work out where this cabin is. So the oasis, this is um, kind of where we started off. This is where we entered the, the area. Uh, that seemed to be where they kind of lived. This is Fred's keep. This is where we are now. So my guess would be we might be going to to Romoburg. Romo, Rom, Rom, Romoburg? Romo. Let's just go and see. <laughs> Towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Oh, Romeoburg. <laughs> kind of name is Romeoburg. No cabin, though. Okay, so I guess that the oasis was Zara's. Fred's place was Fred's, and then Romeo Berg. else in here? Maybe the others found something. I guess was probably a Romeo's place by the, the looks of things. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well, before this place was considered underneath. Sorry, I don't reveal my sources. You're not an ordinary traveler, are you? Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, 
Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Of course, but I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not 100% sure our way will work yet. Thank you. A chance is something more than we have now. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. They seem okay. Great, Can we trust you're here. Them? We've got a new destination, Maybe. so... You go on ahead. I, um, I'm gonna stay here, see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? Jack, you can't stay. We need you with us. Right. We're in this together, aren't we? You don't need me. These people do. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. <laughs> That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> Come here. Well, it's nice to see Jack and Luna are finally starting to, to get on a little bit. I try to be really careful to not mention that I know Zara in my conversation with Binta, and then I just said it anyway. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to reveal that I knew her, but then Jesse just happened to say it. But they didn't seem to care. They don't seem to care that we know Zara. They didn't, like, react at all to that. Like, Zara's been away for, like, forever in that prison, hasn't she? But they didn't really seem to, to buy too I much. I believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's keep. Can you? <sighs> Whatever. I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on. We should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. Wow, this awkward silence is way less uncomfortable. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. 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 Uh, rough ride. <laughs> no, not for you. <laughs> Stupid llama. <laughs> Why does it so mean? Oh, what's that? Oh, slow mo potion. Did we get all of us? Oh no, it looks like Jesse's okay. Oh, it's that person. I saw them when I first arrived. 
I saw them. It might be Fred. Do you think it's Fred with a mask on? Maybe Fred isn't actually dead. I don't want my sword. I forgot about that. I gave away my sword and they're all stuck in slow-mo. Right. I guess just ducking is the only thing we could do for now. I mean, if it was Fred, would he really just attack us without finding out who we were first, though? I thought he was supposed to be a good guy, but who knows? Oh, no, no. Is that more slowness potions? I don't like... Is that like a smoke potion? They don't exist. <laughs> and now I'm trapped. And they're stuck slow. Uh, hi, hi there. Uh, hi there, my name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are? <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I have a shadow sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. I'm wearing blue underwear. Uh, of course, excuse me. Out. <laughs> that is actually an option. That is actually one of the options. <laughs> All right. You want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? Hey, if you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Sword time. No, 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 put it, uh, do it, yeah, uh, uh, I was gonna say nothing. I don't, I don't know what to say. There's nothing really good I can say in this situation. I recognize that strangely terrifying stare anywhere. <laughs> you are the real Jesse. It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes, it is I, your friend Ivor. It's me. Ninja rival! <laughs> yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort Punch of strange him. world. Why not? Everything was Why all not? white. Oh. Nice. He's a ninja. You see? Ninja reflexes. <laughs> Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine too? No. And rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. It seemed like the only way to get you to stop talking. Ah, uh, yes. I'm so sorry. It's just so exciting to see you. And there's so much to say. I'm sorry, How I'm about you start me. with what the heck you're doing down here? Uh, right. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No. But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway. That plan is all well and good, but what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, 
but shocking. I tell him that I escaped, but that you trapped me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final, desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> so Ive is a ninja now. That wasn't expected. Maybe not the the best ninja, but a ninja all the same. <laughs> With special ninja powers, we of course. We all just saw that, right? I I didn't like hallucinate ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. I love the way that everything is just explained by the fact that he's a ninja. He just knows stuff he shouldn't know and he's gonna get home somehow. He's a ninja, of course he can. Ninjas can do everything. Ninjas are awesome. <laughs> I'd miss Dive. I'm sad he's leaving already. I have missed loads of the, the old characters. I've enjoyed the new characters in this season, but I do kind of miss a lot of the old characters. I know a lot of you are the, the same as well. I see it a lot in the, the comments like, where is everyone? Where's the old gang? It's nice to get a, a glimpse from the past though. Even if he has turned into a ninja. Scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay. Okay? Now just move along. And don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You <laughs> too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Hey, army, you too, Jeff. They don't have an army. Uh, they played it like at a speaker or something That's to make weird. it sound like there's a load it's of so people. Weird. The army just, just, <laughs> uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the... Biggest army you've ever heard, right here. Bring out your army. I'm happy to take them on. Oh, oh, and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we, we don't have an army, exactly. Mm, yeah. I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us help you. Uh, help us. Yeah, logically we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Get yeah, the real gate. Right! On it! Right, into to Romeoburg. I've faced his challenges before and... <laughs> we'll, we'll have to do some more by the looks of things. There's like an enormous llama. 
I never realized how small Luna was. Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't spit on me. Don't spit on me. Don't. don't. <laughs> I saw that coming. Oh, you've got a pet llama too. Uh. She's only ba ba yeah ba 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 ba. Oh no! I don't. I was too slow. I'm sorry. No, sorry. I was just too slow. I love you, but I just pressed the button. Um, no. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, I'm talking to Luna now. Um, no, I, I don't want. I just. I want to say I love it. No, Luna. No, she's like no, Luna. No, that was that went so wrong. That was no. No, all of the options were bad. <laughs> None of the options were, I love you, Luna. They're all like, I don't want you, or you need a new owner and stuff. There were no good options. And silence wasn't a good option either. Anyway, sorry, let's listen. Yeah. <laughs> suppose that uh, might affect population levels a little. Yeah, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. God, they love this building mechanic. I can hardly walk anywhere without them asking me to build something on a... <laughs> On a, on a platform that's the same size as the, the other. So I need to build something that's going to strike fear into my opponent. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to make sure I build the most dramatic and scary thing in the world. So I'm going to take a bit of time to think about exactly what the perfect thing to, to build is. Considering I can only build out of these blocks here, which isn't the most colourful selection of building material. But I guess that uh, building materials might be a little bit scarce down here considering where we are. So right then, that's the plan for the next episode. We're going to jump in. I'm going to build my uh, my thing. Or I might even build it between episodes just to, to have it done to, to show it off to, to you. And then we can go inside and see whether we can tackle a Romeo's challenge. But sadly, that is going to be the end of this episode here. So the final thing for me to do is to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!